What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So breaking sticks over your head is, is not, that's not a viable option, although it might be fun, not viable. So generally what you're gonna do if you need to cut a stick to length or cut down a branch is you're gonna use one of the three big tools that's either a knife, an ax, or in our case today, we're talking about the saw, the good old folding saw. All right, so when it comes to cutting with your folding saw, there's generally two times you're gonna be using that. Um, number one is you're gonna be cutting something off of a standing tree or maybe a down tree. So this generally is not that difficult of a process. And the reason for that is because the tree itself is offering a lot of support. The branch itself, the weight is dragging itself down. So you can support everything and cut really easily. Now the second time you'd probably use in this saw is that you already have a cut branch or a broken branch and now you have to cut it again. This generally causes people a problem because there's not much support. So you're trying to hold the thing and cut and although you can get it done, it's just not effective. The other option is to search around for more of a stable type platform and then lay the branch down there. But even sometimes then, it's still, it's wobbling, it's big, and you have to drag this branch to the area that you're gonna work. So I'm gonna show you a very easy, quick tip to be able to cut branches right in place. All right, so for sake of demonstration and skill, we have this fake branch attached to the tree, and I cut it off, and it falls here in place, and now I gotta cut this thing to length because I need certain components of it in order to get my upcoming bushcraft project complete. So we're gonna use a technique we call the plumber's vise, all right, which that plumber's vise is built into us. It's actually just our leg, okay? So this is a really easy thing. If you're right-handed, what you're gonna do is you're gonna saw with your right hand and you're gonna put your stick that you just cut, okay, behind your right leg, just like that. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch the stick with my right leg. So my upper and lower leg, pinch that stick in place. We're gonna use our left hand, because it's at this point useless, to hold that stick. And then our saw, again, in our right hand, is gonna come in here and saw. This is giving a very stable, tight platform for us to be able to cut cleanly and easily. Now, two important things to note when it comes to the plumber's vise. Number one, you're gonna do this with sticks that are generally smaller than your wrist. Big sticks, if you're gonna process firewood, it's just too much material between your upper and lower leg. It actually starts to hurt your leg. So in bushcraft, we normally are using most of the sticks thumb size and smaller, and that's what most of these smaller saws are gonna handle. So it works absolutely great. Bigger stuff, you're gonna wanna find a more stable area, maybe a stump or a big log log and work accordingly to that. Now the second issue some of you might come upon, especially if you're a little bit older or had pre-existing injuries, is that squatting down in this like lower squat position is not that easy for you. So this that doesn't mean you can't use this plumber's vise. Find yourself a comfortable area to work on, take your piece of wood that you're gonna be cutting, and look at, I'm just sitting, right? And I'm just gonna do the same thing. All I'm doing is like tucking my leg back. So I'm gonna still pinch, tuck my leg back, hold everything nice and tight, and it works just as well as squatting down. Okay, so either of these are gonna work. We're still using our body mechanics in order to keep this thing tight, and then we're good to go. So there you go, Plumber's Vice, another tool for the toolbox. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. You can also check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our classes and our blog and all our merchandise and the good stuff that's over there. And then uh, I think that's it. So until next video, um, use the Plumber's Vice, stay in the woods.